Pace Miles, Danny Miles, and this is a what on earth about the possibility of the first female Bond. Okay, so let's break it down. Despite the fact that bookies in the UK have stopped taking bets because they are so certain that Tom Hiddleston is going to get the role, Gillian Anderson has thrown her hat into the ring and wants to become the first Jane Bond. And whilst I think Hiddleston is an impressive actor, he's got a lot of good roles under his belt, he would probably defeat Blofeld by taking off his shirt and threatening to cry at him. Anderson at least has a sort of grit and toughness to her. Now I know that a lot of people have been saying, oh she's a woman, she's an American, she can't do the role. All of this is absolute nonsense. Yes, she's a woman. So what? There's a lot of strong female roles these days. And what could be better in the age of equality to have a female Bond? She's an American? Yeah, born in Chicago. So what? She's lived in London for years. Not to mention that the actual character of James Bond in the books is half Scottish, half Swiss. And in the films, Bond has been portrayed by a Welshman, a Scotsman, an Irishman, an Australian, as well as the two English. It's not that much of a stretch to have an American in the role. Anderson is a competent actor. She's extremely good. She's won critical acclaim in almost every role she's been in. That said, I don't think she's perfect for the role. I personally would find action scenes with her in to be quite believable. She's quite a slim, petite woman. Bond goes regularly up against several thugs and takes them down. In the books, the books, he's basically a brute with a badge and a gun. And I don't feel that Anderson would slip into that role particularly easily. And also, she's got no big action films under her belt. Every other Bond had at least some action training and brought a believability to the fight scenes. And I know that Colin Firth had never done a fight scene in his life before Kingsman, but I'm still having issue with Anderson in that regard. Also, do we have to make James Bond female? How about, and I know this is a revolutionary idea, we create a new film series. A Jane Bond in a parallel world to the James Bond franchise. But I still think Hardy would make an absolutely fantastic James Bond unless the producers pick somebody else for the role. And I do think that Anderson would do a solid job. Also, Anderson has never led by name recognition. She's not like a, a Jennifer Lawrence or an Angelina Jolie where they can use their name and they're a solid A-lister. She's a B to C lister at best. And yes, and also she is so tightly bound to the character of Dana Scully. I think it might be hard for some people to get through. I'm sure the producers know what they're doing, and I'm sure they're going to pick someone who is absolutely perfect for the role, or Tom Hiddleston. And I am absolutely looking forward to seeing who that is. It should be sometime in the next few weeks. I will keep you updated on the situation, and who knows? Do you think Gillian Anderson should be James Bond, or should she be given her own franchise to star in as a female spy? Either way, comment below, let me know. I'm Daniel, this is Duncan. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe.